everybody, Chris Ann here, Christmas coach and founder of Christmas Organizing, welcoming you back to day two of the Keep Calm and Jingle On five day Christmas challenge. I'm so excited that you're here with me today again. We are on this journey to have a more organized Christmas and to help take Christmas from stress to bless. I have been helping people just like you since 1998, and I am so excited that you're going to be joining us today. All right, today we're going to talk about creating your Christmas notebook and making a list of your holiday celebrations. So are you ready to take the leap and be on your way to a more organized Christmas, one small step at a time, and calm the Christmas chaos? So the first thing we're going to talk about is your Christmas notebook. Your Christmas notebook is your foundation to your organization plan for the Christmas holidays. And this is where you're going to keep all of the ideas, plans, just it's your, it's your center. It's, it's your communication center. It's just your, your center of all of your plans and where you deposit things and you know where to go back and grab things from. And it may seem like an enormous task, but we're going to break it up into small little pieces. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to gather our notebook supplies. And you're going to make a list of your supplies that you need to go buy that you haven't been able to go around your house and find. But try to find them around your house first because that will definitely help you save money. All right. The first thing that you need to have is your three ring binder. Now, this can be a big three inch binder and you have lots of stuff in it. It can be a smaller binder and have multiple ones if you want to. I personally start out with a um, one inch binder. I always make sure that I have where I can slide um, a cover into it. And then the second binder I start out with is an idea binder so that as I'm finding ideas and stuff, I can put them in that notebook and kind of um, have them separated. And when I plan to use that idea, I'll move it over into my main notebook. As I go on and I fill up more of my notebook, I may split it into smaller notebooks based on categories. I might have one that's just for the Christmas kitchen. Um, I might have one that's just for gifts. So that just depends on how many pages and ideas and different things I have going on. All right, the next thing you need is a three hole punch and that comes in handy to punch holes in your planning pages and different things that you need to put into your notebook. Now, dividers are a very important thing so we can easily find the uh, different sections in our notebook. And we're gonna talk a little bit later about making your tabs and you'll figure out how many dividers that you need to have. Page protectors, I love page protectors. Page protectors are my friend <laughs> when I do Christmas organizing. Um, I go to Sam's uh, or Costco and buy the big box because I use them like crazy. Um, I have them for recipes, for craft ideas. Um, I use them as little uh, folders, little pockets to keep certain people's things together. Like in the gift giving, I'll put all my daughter's stuff in one or all my son's stuff and label their name at the top. So. All their receipts are back there. Their gift li wish list is in there. So it's kind of like a little packet. So I really love that. Um, you can also use it for um, just reminder pages, things like that. It's just, they, they have so many uses that you can do with. Um, slash pocket folders. I actually have combined those into my tabs. Um, you can find slash pocket tab dividers. And that's what I use now instead of separate ones. And what I do is I use those slash pockets to hold my items till I'm ready to put them into that section. So it's kind of a procrastination tool, I guess. Um, but it's really great for me to just be able to make sure it gets into the right section area. And then later on, when I'm working on that section, I can take them out and put them in their proper places in the notebook. All right, your calendar. This is so important. I like to use a paper calendar, uh, whether it's one I've printed off and um, or I've bought one that already has the, the, the dates and stuff on there so that I can scribble in things, scribble it off. And then I take that information and I transfer it onto my Outlook calendar. So if you have like an Outlook calendar or a Google calendar, 
you can move that over and I have a separate um, calendar that's just for Christmas items. I have one for Christmas events, one for Christmas planning so that I can easily see what I have going on. It can integrate in with my main calendar. Things will pop up, whether it's a Christmas shopping event, things like that. It just makes it really, really handy to have both. So I use both. And um, in the 25 days of Christmas planning, I will be doing a video on that for y'all. Um, okay, photo pockets is another thing. Those are like the page protectors that have four, um, four pockets on a page. And I like those for recipe cards. I also use them to organize receipts. I can do them by stores or types of um, uh, types of um, events. So like if it's my decorating stuff, if it's baking stuff, um, I can also do it out by people. If I haven't made a packet uh, for them, that just makes things a whole lot easier to find. Then I have a receipt holder. Now you can either use an envelope and seal it up and then cut the top off and, and hole punch it and put the put it into your um, into your notebook behind your spending or your budget, or you could keep it down in the slash pocket um, that's in that section. But I also found um, like the little accordion type uh, receipt holders. Those work really well. I got found some flat ones at the Dollar Tree last year. They worked really, really well because they're really flat. They don't have, they're, they, I think they have like six dividers in them, not a lot. And so that slides right down in that slash pocket really well. All right, colored pencils. Now I have, or pens, I have gone away from colored pencils. I used to tell everybody to get colored pencils because you can just color code a lot of things whether it's people's things, whether it's gifts, whether it's, you know, it's just easy to look at a glance if you know what your color coding is. But I have now gone and gotten these kind of pens. I pick them up at Sam's Club. They have like a big pack that has seven or eight different ones in them that have different kind of colors. These have more neon colors. They have more traditional colors. I have one that has a pencil in it. You know, there's just different ones like this. And I do those because they take up less room than a whole bunch of uh, pencils. So, and I'm all about saving a little bit of room now. Um, so those are really great. So that would be something to look into for that. All right. Now I said, we're going to talk about choosing your tabs and I'm not going to say, oh, these are the tabs you should have because it's not fair of me to tell you what tabs you need in your notebook because you may do things differently than I do. My decorating section is like two pages, okay? It's not a lot because I'm not a super duper duper decorator. I decorate some, but not like some other people. But gift giving, my gift giving can be a whole notebook in itself. So, you know, you have to kind of decide what, what it is. And you might want to divide your gift giving out by the different uh, events that you'll be attending or maybe you want to do it by people, families. It just depends. So you just need to write down all the different areas of Christmas that you would be wanting to have in your notebooks. And then you can either group those together and put them behind one tab or give them separate tabs. Now, the other thing that I do do sometimes is I will have the main slash pocket with the tab thing on it. And I have the kind that you can write on and then erase them because I change my mind all the time of where I want them, how I want them. And so I will make that my main divider. And then I will have page protectors um, back behind it. And I will get those little sticky uh, tab, tab dividers that you can put in books and things like that. And I'll stick them on the page protectors with whatever it is that I want to break that area or section down further. So that's a really great thing. So you just want to get that out, figure it out see how many you want and how you want to do it. Um, and then that's how many tabs you need to buy or how many divider tabs and tabs. All right. So now we're going to talk about assembling your notebook. So once you have your labels, have labeled all of your tabs, you want to add them to your notebook. And then behind each one of those, put a couple of page protectors, uh, your slash pockets and any other kind of supplies that go with that, like in the um, <coughs> budgeting, spending section or expenses, you want to have 
something to hold receipts, your envelope or your um, your little folder thing. So, and anything from last year that you want to reuse this year, make sure you transfer it over into your notebook. All right. Now we're going to talk about holiday celebrations. And um, these are any of the things that you do, whether you go to them or you host them at your house during the holiday season. I'm going to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So for me, I have the Sundays of Advent. Each Sunday of Advent is a different holiday celebration. We have dinner. We have a, um, a Bible reading. We have dinner. Oh, did I say that? We open up a gift and we might decorate the tree. There may be some part of preparing for Christmas Day and the 12 days of Christmas that I incorporate into that um, celebration. We also have St. Nicholas Day. We have Christmas Eve. We have Christmas Day. Um, I'm sure there's some other ones I can't think of off the top of my head, but those are, oh, and then the 12 days of Christmas. So if I'm doing something each of the 12 days of Christmas, I make out a, um, a sheet for each of those. So that's what I'm talking about when I say holiday celebrations. Um, we don't usually go anywhere to, I personally don't go anywhere else. Um, my son and my daughter-in-law, they have other places that they go um, on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. Um, but we just stay at home. We do not have, um, we don't have extended family around us. So um, you know, we're usually, you know, everybody lives far away. So there's not really invitations to, um, to events and things um outside of just what we do at our house so um so that would be kind of where my celebrations kind of stop so um but i'm going to list those out so um before we talk about listing out the different ones i want to talk about these holiday celebration reality checks i want you to go through these lists and think about these different things i'm going to do a video series on the whole set of them and or a video on it uh, later on just to talk about some of these different things. But you really need to think about some of these um, these ideas and just think about how they relate to your celebrations, whether you're having them or you're going to them, because you need to think about them because they these are the little things that can make a difference in taking your holiday season from stress to blessed. All right, there's another little reality check. All right, so now your holiday celebrations, as I said, they're a joyous time to gather with family and friends. And while many times they are, which is excellent, sometimes they are not. So I want you to write down the positives and the negatives about your holiday celebrations that you attend or you host. You know, it's, we just need to kind of dig in. This is where that journaling uh, comes in. Then for each holiday celebration, or no, sorry, <laughs> this is where you're going to write down all each of the different holiday celebrations that you have. What do you have with your immediate family? What do you have with um, that's work or school related? What do you have with friends or um, extended family? And are these things that you're hosting or you're attending? Um, even if you're attending, put them down and create a sheet um, a planning overview page, holiday overview, if, even if it's something that you're attending so that you can keep track of what's going on, what you need for that celebration, what what's expected of you, because maybe you need to bring a, a meal to something. Maybe you need to um, um, have gifts. Where's the location at? And then this way you can easily communicate this information on to other people in your family. All right, I want to say thank you for joining me today. And I hope that everybody gets this section done um, in a quick manner. Set that timer for 15 minutes and hit it and work on these pages. I'll put the link to the workbook um, down in the description so you can go out and grab it. And don't forget to hit that um, subscribe button Hit the notification bell so that you're told when I post a new video and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the uh, 
information from this. It really helps the Christmas organizing community more than you'll ever know. Thanks, everybody.